Hey everybody, this is Tom, and it's time for another Excel tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how fast and powerful pivot tables can be. Pivot tables are terrific for analyzing data on the fly without having to build out a full on Excel model. You don't even need to know any Excel formulas. I'm going to be doing this tutorial on mobile. The sample report used in this video is from one of our subscribers. He had run some traffic to an offer and wanted to know what he can do with the data to find the best converting segments of the campaign. And for anyone doing mobile, you know that there's a lot of variables to be tracked. There's brands, there's models, carriers, sites, and so forth. So this is where a pivot table can really shine as a fast temporary solution to analyze your data. Now let's get started. So I've got the sample report open. All you're gonna do is select all, go to insert, pivot table, and hit okay. And on the right here, you can see a list of fields that we can select. And we want to select the field that we want to see appear in the road, row fields area here. So let's select campaign because that's what we want to see. Then let's select the columns that we want to appear in the, in the column fields here. And we're going to select clicks, conversions, and revenue. So as you can see, in a few seconds, the pivot table has already summed up some of the pertinent data for you. We can see the number of clicks per campaign, number of conversions, and the total revenue. Let's format this into a currency. Now the campaign that we want to analyze here is this T-Mobile campaign. It's gotten almost 1,500 clicks, 27 conversions, and $162 of revenue. Next, let's select the field that we want to drill down to. Let's do brand. So now it's adding to the rows section all of the brands for each of these campaigns. We only want to see it for the campaign that we care about. So let's select all, go to options under pivot table tools, and hit collapse entire field. And then simply hit the plus button by the campaign that we want. So as you can see, it's listing out now all the brands for that specific campaign and their respective clicks, conversions, and revenue. Since what we're trying to optimize here are conversion rates, let's add that column. To add a calculated field, go to Home, Insert, Insert Calculated Field. Let's call it Conversion Rate. And the formula will be equals to Conversions, hit Insert Field, divided by Clicks, hit Insert Field. Hit OK. Now it looks like it may not have worked, but it did. All we have to do is format this into a percentage. So let's do that. Let's give it three decimal places. There we go. So as you can see, the brands Sharp and SoftBank have especially high conversion rates compared to the rest of the pack. So what we can do now to drill down even further is to filter these two brands out. So since we want to filter brands, drag our brand field down to the report filter section. As you can see, brand has appeared up here. Now we're just going to filter out Sharp and SoftBank. Click Select Multiple Items. Uncheck the All. And then let's find Sharp and SoftBank. Click OK. So now the only data that's showing in the table are of the brands that we filtered out. Now let's see which ads perform well for, for our specific filter. Let's hit the sub ID field and see what happens. So based on what we see here, we can tell that this ad, this ad, and this ad are performing particularly well. Two of these don't really have enough data to say for sure. But ad number 23 with 14 clicks, that's a lot more significant. So it looks like our subscriber needs to send more traffic overall to these ads to get more data. But the next time he'll be able to tell which ads fare particularly well across these two brands. Ad number 10 in particular is performing really poorly, having gotten 16 clicks and no conversions. So our subscriber might decide to pause that ad for these two brands. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. There's a lot more that pivot tables can do, and we will certainly return to it again in the near future for another tutorial. And I hope to do a lot more posts on mobile as well in the, in the future. So until next time.